All right, wanted to show a quick video of uh, raising mealworms. Uh, I raised my mealworms for my ducks. Um, started giving them my ducks when they were about three months old, and they just loved them. It ate them like crack. So decided to start raising them myself because it's a great protein source for ducks. Um, and uh, pla I plan to feed about a pound of mealworms to them each week. Um, the actual system of uh, raising mealworms is pretty simple, so I just wanted to go through how I do that here. This is a quick pick of um, the life cycle of a of a mealworm. When you buy them, and I bought them from Amazon, and I'll provide a link at the bottom of this uh, video. Um, you buy them, and they're about you get about a thousand for twelve bucks. I don't know if I got a thousand, but I did get a lot. And when you get them, they'll probably be about mid-size, and they'll take about a month to start to pupate into pupa, which look like the little alien creatures down in the bottom right-hand corner. From once they pupate, they'll go about um, uh, two to three weeks, and then they'll turn into beetles. And the beetles will start off white, and then within hours almost, they go from white to brown and then to black, which is why they're called darkling beetles. And the beetles will start doing their thing and laying eggs in the media that you have your beetles in. And then eventually what you do is you just grab the beetles, move them to a new bin with fresh media, take that bin that you have all the eggs in, and then allow those to turn into baby mealworms, and then they'll turn into pupa, and then to beetles. So that's the life cycle. So, uh, first things first, you get them as mealworms. So, I got mine in January, and this is a bin that had a whole bunch of mealworms in them, about 500. And what you can see in here is, and I'm three months now after I got them, is there's no mealworms left. All this stuff here, this is all just frass, the molting stuff in here. I want to say there's maybe maybe 10 or less mealworms actually in this bin. Um, but they have all pretty much pupated. So what I'm going to be doing with this bin is cleaning it all out, putting fresh media in, and I will eventually put my beetles into this bin with the fresh media. The media is actually ground up um, egg laying feed. Um, I buy the, the egg pellets and I just take one of those coffee maker um, grinders, grind it up, put it through a sieve uh, to make it all nice and um, uh, uniform. And that's how, and this is what they eat. It's basically just grain. Okay. So what will happen is they will pupate and you will take the pupate and I'll show you what the pupas look like and you'll put them in the next bin. Okay. So this is the bin with the beetles. Okay. Um, pretty simple to feed them. They eat the grain, but they also need water. So what you see in here are carrots that they're sucking the water out of the carrots and old pieces of apple and things like that. Uh, there's pieces of cardboard in there that they like to, to stay in here, to stay in. And this right here is a, a lettuce bin that I've turned upside down. And what you do is you take your pupa, which are these little things here, I can grab one here, and they're pretty, they're pretty immobile. Um, they don't do much um, once they reach the pupa stage. Um, so I don't know if you can see that pretty good, uh, but that's what they look like. You see, it's not really moving. All they're basically doing is changing into beetles. And the reason that you separate them like this is because the beetles will um, start to eat their own um, pupa. And you don't want them to do that because you want these guys to turn into beetles. What happens is they pupate, they turn into beetles, and then they just walk off of here and they go into the media. Or you can just flick them off. And I usually come in here every other day and flick off the, uh, the pupa that's turning into beetles. Uh, you know, it takes 10 to 20 days for that to happen. So usually every other day I'm seeing beetles on this. But this is a really easy way to separate your pupa from your beetles. And if you don't do this, again, your beetles will eat your pupa and you'll, you'll have problems. 
So the beetles, you know, they kind of do their thing. They eat, uh, they drink, they have sex, and they lay eggs all in this media here. This is all filled with eggs. And so every two to three weeks, what you do is you grab all your beetles out of there, and you put them into a new media, uh, which will be over here. This will be the old bin all. I'll put all the new beetles in there, and they'll start laying eggs in there. Okay. Okay, so now let's look at the media that they used to be in, which turned into little baby mealworms. So that's here. Um, I, don't know, I don't know how well you can see in here, um, but all this stuff here, you see that? Those are little mealworms. You can see there are hundreds if not thousands in there. Um, and they are about, I want to say at this point, they're about three weeks to a month old. And in another two months, they'll be adults. And um, they'll start pupating. And then they'll turn into pupa. And then I'll take them, I'll put them in the beetle cage. And then the beetles will turn into, or the pupa will turn into beetles. Anyway, so the key is to build up your beetle population high enough so that they're making lots of eggs. And then once they're making lots of eggs, they'll turn into lots of mealworms, so you can grab those mealworms, and then you can start to feed them to your ducks. So you want to wait until you have a good population of beetles. Uh, once you have a, your good population, then you can start grabbing your mealworms and, and giving them to your, uh, your ducks or doing whatever you want to do with them, them to your lizards or whatever. Anyway. You can see here they're actually already pup um, they're they're molting. All this stuff down here is just just molt of the little baby millworms that um, we're changing into uh, worms. Sorry for the shadows. Anyway, so that's my uh, setup, and and these are just you know Rubbermaid bins, okay? That I put into a. Um, let's see if I can get the bin thing. And so just a bend in closure here. So this is a three setter that you can get at Walmart. This costs about 15 bucks. And uh, that's all you really need. Uh, some carrots, some apples, some grain, and a stock of mealworms to start your way. Anyway, so that's my system. Um, hope that helps people out. See you.